So inside of each of these injectors, if you look down inside of here, you can see that is a filter. And that's going to be removed. We'll show you how you do this. Um, we have um, a tool that we sell on the website. This I don't have that one here handy for me, but basically it's just you just need to get something to screw inside of it that you can then pull the filter out. And then you can replace it with the other tool that we have. I don't know why this isn't catching here. There we go. Okay, so now you can feel it. So if we pull this out, the filter comes out. And now you can see that their filter has been removed. Uh, the tool that we have here is to replace the filter to the proper depth. Um, and what the filter does, it sit, the tool sits the filter inside there, gives a, a lip that pushes against the crush ring that's on the filter. And then this here sets the depth for how deep it can go. So you would just tap on the end of this here, or you could put it in a vise between these two points to press it, you know, press it in and that's it. The filters replaced. And that's it, filters replaced now. Uh, we already have a, another video on our channel of how to replace the combustion seal, but since this comes, you know, as all one package here, we might as well show you on here. You, you get a cone. It slides over the tip of the injector. Your seal goes on top of here. And you're basically just sliding the seal up, removing the cone, using your fingers to kind of compress that down. So this this piece of this tool, this part of the tool has a cone shape inside of here, which is allows you to push it onto the injector and start compressing it. And you might have to push it a couple times to get pressure up and it will get all the way in there and you just let it sit there for about 60 seconds and now your seal is going to be compressed. This autofocus thing sucks here. But yeah, your seal is now compressed around the tip.